Welcome back, everyone. There are thousands of chemicals in our favorite beauty products, many of which are being absorbed into our body. Our favorite green queen, Jennifer Hankey, is here with ways to take out toxins in our beauty regimen, and she's putting me to the test. Of course, I brought along my shopping bag. I am being tested all day today in more ways than one. All right, I, I want to talk about this. I'm so glad you chose this topic. I feel like all I'm reading about lately are women saying we've got to stand up for what we are putting on our face, you know, washing our hair with, right. you know, and what we're doing to ourselves. So let's dive right in. Why yeah, is this so, so most important? people have no idea that there has been no new regulations put on cosmetics since 1938. So a what? lot has happened since then. So basically anybody can kind of put anything in anything and we don't even have labels. When was the last time you looked at the back of like your mascara and it had anything mm. listed about what's in it? Wow. So we have no clue what's That's in our scary. products. So what we're finding is as we test these products, we're fi finding frightening things. So I want to go through really Let's quickly. Do it. I don't even There's need these There's five scripts. different um, chemicals of concern and then you have five products in your bag. Okay. So this is going to be lead. This is going to be phthalates parabens, um, nanoparticles, and mica, and then the last one's mercury. Okay, I'm ready. In your bag, you have oh. um, some nail polish, some lipstick, some foundation, some mascara, um, mascara, and mineral makeup. Um, and mineral makeup. Got so it. what we're gonna do is, you're gonna have to guess first which product has a concern for lead. For lead. For lead, what would you guess? Golly, And I also lead, wanna mention lead. while you're doing this that just because it's not like the drugstore brands, it's all, even the very high end makeups can be very concerning. So okay. this is gonna be wrong. So we're gonna put the lipstick out here. Okay. Lipstick. lipstick. So when the oh, FDA wow. tested lipstick in 2009, every single lipstick they tested tested positive for lead. So you think it's scary for you? We we actually eat like uh, tens of pounds of lipstick a year if you wear it. But think about our little girls that are putting it on. And oh there's no gosh. safe so level of lead. The higher the red, the more red it is, the higher the content of the lead typically. Oh, so we wow. have safe choices hindered under the bag Good. here. So um, I try to get some local ones because I'm always sending you guys to Amazon. But um, Fig and Flower in oh, Virginia Highlands. Yes. You can buy anything there and it's all non-toxic. They've done all the work for you. Oh, great. So the vast majority of this came from them. There's RMS and there's 100% pure here. Um, this one's really cool. It's called, uh, and it has, um, it oh, actually is recyclable. Oh, great. I don't know how to do it, but you can take it apart and you keep the outside part and you just replace the inside so it's better for the earth. I love it. And then Lauren Brook Cosmetics too, you can get online. It's okay. one of my favorites of all time. Okay, good. So and we'll they, put this segment up on our website. I know we're uh, covering a lot of ground yeah. here, important information. Yeah, sure. So I was wrong. Okay. okay. Let me Next get my polish phthalates. Pack. Phthalates. Golly, this is tough. I'm yeah. going to just guess. All right. Well, go ahead and put the nail polish back out. Oh, my word. <laughs> So, it's all Greek to me. Yeah, no. so phthalates we talk about a lot. That mimics estrogen in the body. We don't like that. Um, it's found in nail polish. There's the toxic trio of nail polish, formaldehyde, right. um, phthalates, and things like that. So what we want to do is look for safe ones. Everybody knows that Poofy Organics is my favorite brand. Um, also, Fig and Flower has one called RMS. It's another safer brand that you can choose. But even your nail polish remover. I know. You never smell that stuff? I, I mean, know. So, yes, so that was one thing you want to be um, thoughtful about. Okay. Okay. Next up, next Drop one is parabens. Parabens, all right. Parabens are uh, preservatives that are used in our cosmetics. Um, they also mimic estrogen in the body. They are endocrine disruptors. We talk about that. There you go. Yay! Yay. Ding, 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 ding. One of these days. So yes. actually, parabens, you almost could have picked anything. Oh, I Because right. they're almost in everything. Right. Particularly foundations, blushes, everything. So we talked about this you. earlier. Um, this is my very favorite new product called HiQ. You I were told you about me. it. Yes. This is the most amazing stuff for your face to make you look younger. I swear by sign it. Me swear, swear, like, swear. Sign me up. Swear, Sign me up. At Fig and Flower. Then this one is called Vapor Organic Beauty. This is a foundation. They make a whole, all of these make a whole line of safe products for you. Got it. We've but got even, 90 seconds. Oh, Lance okay. wanted me to remind so, you. So yes, but Lauren Brooke Cosmetics, there's a bunch of different Perfect. brands. Then we have nanoparticles and mica. Oh, I know this one. I do yeah. know this one. That is those mineral, both of those, mineral yeah. makeup. Mineral makeups, yes. Everybody thinks, well, they're made from minerals, but they yes. have no idea. All of these typically contain nanoparticles. There's really almost no studying done on about the safety. We know that these particles are small enough to get directly into our cells. We don't know what they do when they get in there. It's very concerning. So what you do is, ah, all mine fell over, but look for safer, like Lauren Brooke Cosmetics, things like that that are um, safe. 
powders, blushes, foundations, um, everything. Right. It's nano and sunscreens. It's oh, big time. Big really? time. Really? Mm -hmm. You need to look for non-nano on your sunscreens. Okay. All right. I think and I know this one. one. Mercury. Yeah. Mercury is <laughs> Thank mascara. You, Paul. Thank they you. actually use thimerosal in mascara as a preservative. And they were tested tons of them and a lot of them tested positive for mercury. We don't want our little girls or ourselves yes. putting mercury all over ourselves. So again, um, there is the Lauren Brooke Cosmetics and then there's Kyer Weiss that's also available at, uh, at um, Fig and Flower. It's again, it's one of those that is this uh, recyclable yes. that you can take in and out, but it doesn't have all the toxic chemicals. We think makeup's no big deal. No, we you're use right. it every day. Yes. It gets absorbed in our skin. We eat it, I it gets know. in our eyes. What you're saying about the lipstick, think about that. How many pounds over pa our literally lifetime? Literally pounds and pounds and pounds every year. Such great information. Yes. I know uh, Lance wanted me to ask you because we're all curious in the green room. We go crazy with our hairspray. Yes, what phthalates, that? there's all, I mean, anything you're Spraying, stop spraying. If you can just switch to something that's like a, that you can, like a, a pomade or right. something, it's better. At least it's not getting in your lungs. Right. But they do have organic versions of that now. Okay, Not good. hairspray, right. but, but pomades, pomades and things pomades. like that. Mm -hmm. Great information, as always. If you would like to learn more about anything that we just talked about, healthy eating, I mean, Jennifer is the green queen for a reason. Visit her website, thegreenqueen.com. All right, don't go anywhere. Kara is up next with what's buzzing on the web. Stay tuned for that.